If you've been around for a while, you've probably heard of EPA and DHA, the omega fats for your health and for brain health. And it's said that the main sources of EPA and DHA are fish and fish oil, and you need to eat plenty of those or take a supplement. However, we're going to look at a study in which that idea is completely flipped on its head. All right, so just for a quick understanding, omega-3s are classified as ALAs, EPA, or DHA, and ALAs are the omega-3s which come from plants. So plants generally only make ALAs. DHA and EPA is found in fish, particularly fatty fish. However, the body can actually convert ALAs into EPA or DHA, so they're not essential. However, it's kind of argued that the conversion ratio is low so that you actually need to supplement with DHA or EPA through fish oil or through eating fish. However, there was some interesting results found in this study. So for the study, they wanted to look at the conversion ratios of ALA to DHA and EPA as that's a topic of debate. And what they did is they took Uh, fish eaters, meat eaters, and compared them to non-fish eaters, which were vegetarians and vegans. And the results were fairly surprising. So even though the non-fish eaters were getting lower intakes of omega-3s and ALAs of only about 57 to 80% of what the fish eaters were getting, they're difference when they measured their blood levels for EPA, DHA, and ALA were actually much smaller than expected. So what they concluded was that for the vegans and vegetarians, the conversion ratio is actually higher of ALAs to EPA and DHA. So it's almost like the body makes up for what it doesn't have and creates the DHA or EPA if you're not getting it from an external source. And this is interesting too because the plant-based eaters were getting lower amounts of ALA than the fish and meat eaters. And ALA is what is needed in the body to convert to DHA and EPA. So it seems like if they could increase their ALA levels even more, that these DHA and EPA levels would be possibly even higher than in the fish eaters. So it is important for plant-based eaters to think about their omega-3 intake. And I have an episode, which I'll link to in the description on that. And you'll learn about ways you can also increase your omega-3s if you're plant-based. Uh, Foods like chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts are great choices. And because ALAs are not found commonly in a wide variety of plant-based foods, you really do need to focus on getting them and focus in on getting some of those foods that I mentioned as well. But anyway, the study seems to indicate that vegans and vegetarians can get plenty of EPA and DHA in their body all through ALAs in a higher conversion ratio, and they don't need to eat fish or take fish oil in order to get that. Of course, if you'd like to be sure, you can also take a vegan DHA supplement, which has been found in a study to have really good results at increasing blood levels of DHA in vegans, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you're interested in that. And especially if you're pregnant, you maybe want to consider that and also talk to your doctor as well. And always make sure to just get plenty of ALA omega-3s from plant-based sources in your diet and try to get adequate amounts of those as well, which as I said, listen to my podcasts and I'll go over that. So thanks for listening, everybody. Hopefully this was eye-opening. I'll leave links to this study and more in the description. And they do say that more studies are needed to draw any conclusions, but these were interesting results seen from this study. So thanks for listening and take care.